Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of WWE 13 General Manager Mode. We are playing some SmackDown today. So let's get straight into it. Let's have a look at our rankings. We got our World Heavyweight Champion, The Rock, and uh, Cena, right back, Orton, and Stone Cold are in contention. Our Hardcore Championship, we got Mankind as our champion, Ryback, right Shamrock, DBRC, and X Park are in contention. And the tag teams, New Age Outlaws as our champion, Acolytes. Road Warriors, Latino Fly, and the world's strongest team. So, let's have a look at the card this week. We've got DBRC and x Park, Shamrock and Farouk, DDP and Jack Swagger, The Rock, Cena, and Ryback, and Mysterio and Kevin Nash. Ooh, that, that'll be funny. Um, so, we can play three out of the five matches. So, we will start off a Hell in a Cell match. All right, we'll do that one. So, we'll simulate this one. x Park beating Ted DBRC. And we'll simulate this one as well. So DDP and Jack Swagger, DDP winning. So we'll start off with Shamrock. And I think it was Farouk, yep, in our Hell in a Cell. So last week, um, unfortunately, I lost. But I won the first week, so we started our new point system. And it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, you guys are getting behind that and, and voting each week. Make sure at the end of the episode... After you've seen both Raw and SmackDown, that you vote for your favorite. That is important. We need to know who you guys thought had the be better show in the week. So it's either going to be SmackDown or Yellow's Raw. So let's have a let's uh, get this match going. It's Hell in a Cell, Farouk versus Shamrock. Farouk, a part of the Acolyte Tag Team. Shamrock in uh, contention for the. Hardcore championship, I think he was. If not, he won't be too far away. It's, it, one thing I really don't like is the fact that uh, Universe Mode doesn't set title matches on on the, the show, only in pay-per-views. I wish it would actually do title matches. Not all the time, like not every week, but like once every three or four weeks, you know, it would do a title match, you know, without having to do it on the pay-per-view because it just adds that little extra element that more excitement to the match and rather than just a plain old singles match like like we have here why the hell is this match just hell in the cell these guys aren't even feuding with each other but oh well who cares it's hell in a cell so we could get a good match here hopefully we do and Shamrock's got uh, an arm bar I think on uh, Farouk here and he's reversed it to a head scissors and he's picking him up oh he's yeah, that's gonna hurt Shamrock's head right there so I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, general manager series. It's something different. That me and Yellow are head to head, versing each other, battling out, trying to get the best matches in the week. So far, it's been all right for me. You know, so far I've done okay, but uh, Yellow I think is getting the best of me. Last week my show wasn't that great, but uh, I think this week we got a pretty good card. I'm, I'm really liking the the Ryback, Cena, and The Rock match, Triple Threat. That's not even our main event. We got freaking Mysterio and Kevin Nash. Now, that's a main event, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, man. Probably be a match of who can get injured first, I reckon. But uh, we have Shamrock on the attack here, taking down Farouk, who uh not looking too good at the moment. Shamrock on top. We haven't seen them get out of the ring and use any weapons or use the cage to their advantage yet. But... Uh, Extreme Rules is just two weeks away in this series. Make sure if you are new to my channel that you go and check out my Universe Mode videos. And uh, Yellow and myself and uh, Mr. Josh for GM, we have another series in mind where we will be doing SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode and having a three-way competition there as well. So more competition, more General Mode. Manager mode coming your way, and uh, this time the legitimate general manager mode that we all know and love. Shamrock back on the attack, back on the attack. Another suplex there. He's the suplex machine. Not not far away till the uh, WWE 13 DLC, so we can add a few more guys to our roster. What we've actually done is uh, we've uh, traded a few guys out and uh, decided to add in a few of the DLC. So I think we decided, since I think there was six guys in the TLC, that we could have three each. Um, I got rid of DBRC for Chainsaw Charlie, and um, 
I got Cesaro for Jack Swagger. So there are my two trades. And then uh, Yellow got Yellow. I think just picked uh, Sandow. I can't remember who he took out. Took who he took out, but uh, yeah, he just traded out Sandow. Traded out whoever for Sandow. So. That'll be interesting. Dynamic added to the to the game. A few more, few more new stars. I really like uh, Cesaro, so I'm really happy that I was able to get him. He gave me the first pick. Bang, that's who I got. I would have liked to have the Usos, but I don't want to trade out two guys just to add another tag team. I think five tag teams is probably enough for this mode. I don't think we need any more. We only have 25 on the roster, remember? And uh, 10 of those are tag teams, as you see one of them in the match here. So I know tag team wrestlers generally come out and uh, do singles matches in universe mode anyways but I'd rather see them the tag teams just doing strictly tag teams and leave the singles matches to the singles guys but uh, I guess we got Farouk a tag team wrestler in here with Shamrock who he's back on the attack this is a good back and forth matchup here we saw Farouk he was down and out before but now it looks as though he's back on the attack taking down Shamrock getting back on top here and now he's just circling around Oh, I think he might be going out outside the ring thinking maybe I might pick up a weapon here. Hopefully. He's got the steps. He's got the steel steps. Oh, that's bang right to the skull of Shamrock. Shamrock could be a bit of trouble here. A couple more uh, st step shots. And he could be out. And he hits him again. His Farouk's just standing there waiting for him to get up. He's patiently just taking his match one step at a time. Playing it into his... Oh, no. Shamrock countering, taking the steps off. Farouk, and oh, right over the top of the head. That could be it for Farouk. That, he really hit that very well. A little bit of extra momentum with, uh, with it as well. I think one of these guys just need to get, get the other inside the ring and hit each other with the steps. Oh, Shamrock flying over, just running right into the steps, flying overboard. And now we could have seen this cage start to be used in the come into play here. This would be a very good factor in the match. And who can come out on top? Well, whoever can hit each other with this cage. And Farouk flying into the cage by Shamrock. Shamrock holding his head. He's done. Now he's gone straight into the cage. And again into the cage. What's he going to do here? Oh, he's not going to do this. Oh. Oh, he's broken down the cage. He has broken the cage, so they are now outside the ring. Farouk suplexing Shamrock into the cage, and now they can come outside the ring at will. Wow. And you see the, the camera angles changed now, coming up, watching down the the entrance, so that's cool. I like that. I haven't actually seen that in the game yet. I haven't, I don't think I've done a Hell in the Cell yet. Maybe, I think I have, and I haven't, certainly haven't done a suplex to the cage, so that's cool. Didn't expect that to happen. So he's got a submission hold. He, you could, this could be it. I think he's got this in pretty good. I think Farouk's gonna tap. He's gonna tap for sure. Yeah, he's gonna tap. He's, this is done. Shamrock's gonna win this one. Farouk, how long can he? Uh, he can't hold on for this one much longer. He's done. He's surely yes. He's tapping. Farouk is tapping. That's the match, ladies and gentlemen. Shemrock beating Farouk here on SmackDown. Hell in a Cell. Only on SmackDown, baby. You don't see another Hell in a Cell action on Raw, I tell you that. So, good match up here. Just have a look at this again. Bang, right through the cage. Wow, what a move here. And Shemrock getting the big win here on SmackDown. Hell in a Cell. He can see he's celebrating. He's got up. He's got a hard-fought victory. Took a few big still step shots to the head, but he's come out on top. Doesn't matter how you win it, as long as you win it. And he's happy about that. And Farouk's down, he's done. Not in good condition whatsoever. And that'll do us. We'll go to the next match. And it is a big match at that. The World Heavyweight Champion, The Rock, coming up against the number one contender, John Cena, and the number two contender, The Ryback. <laughs> And there it is, triple threat action here on SmackDown. You don't see that any of this main event stuff, this main event caliber match. Actually, this is a probably a potential match that could actually happen in the real. You never know. 
I doubt it, but you, you never know. This match may happen one day. We see The Rock coming out, the World Heavyweight Champion. By default in our universe mode, yet to have to defend the championship, but this will be a big match for him. He needs to win this match to prove to the world that he is the top guy here on SmackDown. And John Cena, here he is. And now it's time for the Ryback. I'm going to go ahead and play this match, match, actually. I generally don't play the matches in the videos, but uh, I want to play this one. I think this is a pretty awesome match. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, I could probably just call it. Yeah, we'll play it. We'll play as The Rock. So here we go. So Rock going straight after Ryback. Throwing him over the top rope. Clothesline to Cena. Oh, spear to Ryback. Taking him out. Cena with a reversal. A big arm drag there. Taking Rock down straight away. Now hammering into The Rock with those kicks. Another clothesline. Going around. Oh, neck breaker there to the Ryback. So I hope you guys are actually really enjoying this series because I think uh, it's going pretty well so far. I mean, myself and Yellow are enjoying it. Triple threat, no disqualification, right? No, we won't risk it. I don't think there's disqualification, pretty sure, but uh, you never know. Um, yeah, myself and Yellow, we're really enjoying it. I'm actually, it's, uh, I'm actually happy they know I've, I won the first week, so I know that you guys, I can trust that you guys are voting accordingly, voting properly, not being biased, which is good. I don't care if I lose, I don't care if I win, I just want to know that you guys are voting fairly, and I think uh, the right man won last week, I think uh, Yellow certainly had a, probably a better show than me, and remember these show, these videos are coming out every Tuesday and Friday, so we won't overdo it, but we certainly will make sure that these videos come quite regularly, and no, I wanted to pick up Cena there, but uh, alright, I'll take on the right, right back. So we're currently one all. So this is a big, big week. We need to make sure that that we pick up a good win here because uh, whoever I think uh, whoever can get a, a pretty early lead will be a good sign, good indicator of who's going to win this. Rocky with a big spine buster. Cena back up though, and he's uh, throwing right back out. And now he's going to hit that DDT now on Cena. And Ryback, belly to belly. So whoever wins this week, I think will be a big indicator of who will go on to win the series, I think. How long the series will last for, well, all depends on you guys. If you're not enjoying it anymore, then yeah, we probably won't do it. But if you guys are still enjoying it, still want to see it, then sure, we'll, we'll continue the series. It's no, no burden on me. I'm enjoying doing it. Now I'm going to try, try and see if I can throw one of these two out of the ring. Uh, so not, yeah, out of the ring and uh, onto uh, the announce table. I was actually going to do the barricade, but I think we'll do the announce table. So we got right back out of here. So oh, actually, no, I don't like Cena, so I'll get, I'll throw Cena through. No, that's not quite it. All right, we'll we'll go to the barricade since he's over there. Here we go, here we go. All right, the Rock. Oh, through the barricade. Cena, through the barricade. That's got to hurt. That's got to be the end of Cena. And Ryback standing over there in disbelief. He can't believe what he just saw. But he knows he's next. Your, your turn now, baby. Bang, DDT. I'm going to put Ryback through the table. Got to be fair. you you got to th throw them both through something. No, Ryback, don't reverse. Don't reverse, Ryback. Just sit, stand here and take it. Take the job. Take the job, Ryback. Here we go. Well, Cena's done, so I'll probably end up pinning Cena. So we'll get Cena through. Oh. oh first press there by Cena. Taking me down. The Rocks in, could be in some trouble here. Okay, Michael Cole just said it was a no disqualification match, so... Oh, here we go. Oh, bang! Head first into the table. Ryback's done. Oh, tilt the world slam by Ryback. Oh, we're going to get a replay on that. I still haven't turned those de goddamn replays off. I need to do that. All right, we don't care. We've seen it. <laughs> oh, he's done it again. Now we get another three replays for that, too. There we go. Neck breaker there. 
There's Cena. Get this steel chair. On Cena. Laying in the Cena on the, on the, on the chest. Ryback wants the chair now. No, but I want the chair. And I'm going to hit Ryback. We'll throw Cena in the ring here. We'll, Ryback, oh, he's back up. He's, he's not looking too good. Here we go. Sharpshooter. Could be it. He's too close to the ropes. He's too close to the ropes. Here we go. Rock bottom. Bang. He's done. We'll see if we can get Cena. He's done. One, two, three. The World Heavyweight Champion, The Rock, wins again. The Rock wins here on SmackDown. As you can see, we Rock and Cena went through the barricade. Cena went through the table. Wasn't a good match for Cena. Bam, there it is. Ryback just uh, got taken out of the big clothesline and a rock bottom by Cena. That was enough to put him away. He didn't kick out of three finishes like he normally does. Oh, wait a minute. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar with a with a pipe oh my well Brock Lesnar sending a statement to the rock the world heavyweight champion and he's coming after the title well we could see Brock Lesnar versus the rock in the near future perhaps at extreme rules that is big that is really big now we have well speaking of big we have Kevin Nash coming up against Rey Mysterio in our main event our final match I probably should have played the rock match last but nonetheless we got a big daddy cool diesel big sexy coming up against Rey Mysterio this should be a oh hang on well Ken Shamrock's back again and now he's gonna throw Mysterio in so Kevin Nash well hiring one of his goons one of his buddies to help out here, probably thought that, hey, I can't beat Rey Mysterio myself, a man that's half my size, I'll get one of my mates to come in and uh, take him out for me, so Kevin Nash versus Rey Mysterio, our final match for the show, should be a good match, perhaps Rey Mysterio, well, big arm drag to Kevin Nash, how that works, I don't know, only in a video game, only in WWE 13, Kevin Nash picking him up like a rag doll, throwing him all around the ring, he's got no chance, Mysterio. So, uh, Kevin Nash, probably looking to uh, get climb up the ranks a bit and uh, perhaps get a chance at the World Heavyweight Championship in the near future. Whereas Rey Mysterio, he's part of the Latino Fly Tag Team, which uh, I think is certainly in contention for the World Tag Team Championships in the near future. I think him and Eddie, Eddie Guerrero could be a good tag team. Once again, guys, thanks for very much for giving me names and suggestions for that tag team. So I want to I wanna try and get everyone feuding with each other. I, I kind of forget who's feuding because I, I went through and set all 25 guys with a feud. So everyone's kind of got a feud going. Oh, bang, big boot to the head. So Kevin Nash already hitting a signature maneuver. Perhaps going to take Mysterio out. Could be looking for the jackknife soon. Just a one count though. So I've got everyone in a... Everyone on the roster has got a rivalry or an alliance. Oh, Mysterio off the top. Only Kevin Nash caught him. But Mysterio is still able to hit the Hurricane Rana on Kevin Nash. Oh, here we go. He's going to hit the jackknife. Could he hit it through the table? Yes, he throws him straight through the table again, which magically reformed after the last match. And he's thrown him straight through. And he, you'd have to think that Kevin Nash has done enough to to get rid of Mysterio here. This could be a quick, short main event here on SmackDown. Mysterio's back up. He's holding the ribs. He's he's hurt. Mysterio throwing Kevin Nash. Iris ripping him into the corner. Nash reversing and missing everything, but it's still... I think hurt Mysterio somehow. Nice botch move. Mysterio going after. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a cool move. Reverse Harakarana kind of thing. And on the back of his head. Hopefully, well, he's running there. Hopefully, he doesn't tear his quad. But he's all good. He's still standing. He's moving that leg a little bit. He might 
Oh, now he's kicking him into the legs. Mysterio, he, he could get injured. Now Mysterio trying to fight back, trying to get himself back into this match. He's not looking too good right now, but... Oh, wow, what a, that is a pretty cool head scissor there by Mysterio, who's still holding the ribs. He's still feeling the effects of that jackknife powerbomb through the table. Mysterio jumping over the top. Big arm drag there, taking down Big Daddy Cool. Kevin Nash. Diesel. And, uh, yeah, he's holding a leg. He's done. Nash is... Well, look at the size difference. Nash is like twice the size, and he's getting beat by Mysterio. That's hilarious. Mysterio, Hurricane Rana again. He's going to try and get that Hurricane Rana and throw him on the ropes to hit that 619. But now Diesel back on the attack and a side slam there. You'd have to say, if he gets a... a oh, he's got a, the knee right into the spine of Mysterio. He's got that in really good. This could be it. This could be it. Yeah, Mysterio's tapped. He's done. Mysterio's gone. The size factor for Big Daddy Cool Diesel was that was good enough to take down Rey Mysterio. So, unfortunately, Mysterio losing in this match. Kevin Nash winning. Let's have a look at this again. Jackknife powerbomb. Bang. Through the table. And you'd have to say that is gotta hurt. And Diesel winning. Remember at the start of the match, he had Kent... Ken Shamrock come out and give him a hand. So Mysterio was not looking good from right from the get-go. And uh, Kevin Nash is feeling pretty good about himself here. He knows he got the win. And uh, he's feeling pretty good. So guys, thanks very much for coming along and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and if uh, if you're from Yellow's channel, if you haven't seen my channel at all, make sure you subscribe. We've got more, more videos to come on WD13. So uh, thanks very much for coming along and watching, as I said, and uh, see you next video.